Hey everyone, welcome to Soap Trend. We hope that everybody is doing well. We have some exciting news to share with you all in today's video. In this video, we present you with a special dose of entertainment from our favorite TV series Heartland. Heartland is one of those projects that captures lightning in a bottle and it's a world of its own. So let's talk about an oral history of Heartland as told by the actors and creators of the show. Do watch this video till the end to know everything about the show's history. It was the turn of 21st century and the coronation of the internet era but also the age of procedural dramas. On CBC, Da Vinci's Inquest and Esmond were slowly wrapping up. And then a little show shows up at our doorsteps called Heartland. Different from anything that was part of Canadian pop culture at the time, Heartland focused on creating a nuanced portrait of a life on an Alberton horse ranch. It captured the charm of a multi-generational family, instantly amassing fans from around the world who claimed the series has become their home and sanctuary. Heartland's lasting influence has not only brought families together but also healed and transformed the life of many including the cast and crew themselves. And now we present you the inside story of the evolution of Heartland from the audition process, filming and memorable moments to the lasting friendship, what the future looks like and more as told by actors Amber Marshall, Sean Johnston, Michelle Morgan, Alisa Newton and Graham Wardle. Executive Producer Michael Weinberg and Sora Rana Heather Konki. Let's start with the evolution of the show. Heartland premiered in 2007 on CBC and since then it has become a big part of Canadian cultural fabric. It was originally based on a 26 novel series of very popular books by Lauren Brooke which debuted in 2000. Heather Konki, Sora Rana and writer of the show said, Having those books as an introduction was a terrific bonus. Not only did we already have a loyal following of readers before we even went to air, but it gave us inspiration for our story ideas, especially in our first season. But we made some changes. Most importantly, we transplanted the original setting from Virginia to Southern Alberta. That gave us a true Canadian feel and a much bigger equestrian world to draw upon. Not only show jumping, but rodeo, trick riding, polo, cross country races, we've done it all and more. Producing the number of episodes that we do, we inevitably run out of the book stories pretty much near the beginning of season 2. From that point on, Heartland has become a world of its own. Michael Weinberg, the show's creator and executive producer said, Things have definitely evolved since, but the heart and soul of the show has remained the same. It's still a character-driven show about family values, personal struggles, adversity, triumphs all wrapped up with life lesson learned and a sense of humor. And of course the horses and their stories. There have been marriages, divorces, births and deaths. Amy who began as a 16-year-old girl is now a 29 and has married had a daughter and gone into business with her husband, Ty, who is now no more. In addition, we have brought in younger actors to keep the show interesting for our younger viewers. This is something I didn't plan at the beginning as no one really knows in advance how long a show will be on the air, but has resulted in our longevity. Let's get back to the very beginning on how the show was created. Michael Weinberg said, I had been an investment banker for my entire career. The only thing I really know about television was that there didn't seem to be any shows you could watch with your kids and not be embarrassed. A friend who was a horse person, which I was not, mentioned the Heartland book series to me, and he thought it would make a good television show. I read a few of the books and felt they were too juvenile and would be boring for adults. I did however feel that there might be potential if they were to be changed to become more family oriented. With that in mind, I bought the rights, had a script written and presented it to CBC. After a number of twists and turns, some bigger than others, CBC asked me to make a pilot. The story doesn't end right here. There is still a lot more to share with you guys on how the cast were selected. 
the show's longevity and resonance with the audience, the future of the show and much much more. For this, stay tuned on our channel for future videos as we will bring some more information on the oral history of Heartland. So this much for today's video, we hope you liked it. We will deliver more news of Heartland as it comes in. We will have all the burning Heartland spoilers, updates and news you are looking for. So visit us regularly. Thank you for checking this video out. We will see each other very soon with another video. If you like this video, give us a like and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. If you have anything to say, do let us know in the comment section below. We'll make sure to reply to your comments.